you came to school in the 80s with something dorky and stupid, whew, you would get on the bully beatdown list. And teachers would turn their back because you deserved it for having such a stupid toy. Well, let's look at some stuff that gets you on the bully beatdown list. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with another edition of the Bully Beatdown List. Now, in the past, we looked at Star Wars stuff that would get you on the Bully Beatdown List. We've looked at toys from the 80s, from the 70s, Star Trek. We looked at a lot of wacky stuff. And today, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to look at music-related items that was guaranteed to get you on the Bully Beatdown List. What is the Bully Beatdown List? Well, it's a list of... Stuff that you brought to school that you thought was going to be cool, get you a lot of friends, but it just got you bullied, and rightly so. Teachers, parents, principals, even substitute teachers would look the other way because you deserved it for having some of this stuff. And these are all music related, and I think you'll agree. We're also looking to see how many bully fists it will get you. Let's take a look at the first one on the item, and it is Star Wars related. It's a radio watch. It's not just a radio watch. I mean, that would be kind of cool. You might be able to get away with that. Listen to some of your favorite tunes. You know, listen to some metal. You might listen to some Guns N' Roses. You might listen to some ACDC or Color Me Bad. Yeah, you can listen to some really metal music, but not on this, because it was a radio watch that was wicked. The Ewok. Ugh. Oh. I mean, it was kind of dorky, Star Wars, but everybody likes Star Wars, but this was after Return of the Jedi, about a year after, and this is the Ewoks, the Ewoks will get you on the bully beat now, there's no question about it, no matter what it was, if it was something Ewok related, even if it was Wiki or Paplu, it didn't matter, we get you on the bully beat now list, as you can see here, the Ewok watch was guaranteed to get you, but how many fists would it get you on the bully beat down list, let's take a look. Six fists. I thought it would be a little bit more than that. Six fists. What? Rightly so. Let's go on to another musical. And, and yeah. let's go on to another musical instrument right here. This was released by Mattel, and it was called the musical. What was it called? The musical thing. Oh, the magical musical thing. They didn't even know what to call this. They called it a thing. It looked like I don't know some kind of fancy tube keyboard or something it was really stupid and you probably saw a commercial for it and thought it looked really cool and you asked your parents get it for me for christmas i'm gonna rock out but then you come to school and even the band geeks punch you in the face yeah the band geeks even punch you in the face for bringing this stupid thing to school how many fists would the magical music thing get you Woo! eight that's almost a perfect score for fist oh well, I can kind of understand. I mean, look at this thing. It looks stupid. Well, one thing that was really cool in the 80s were guitar. <laughs> you really rock out, man. You could have the air guitar. Everybody had the air guitar, right? Everybody was born with the air guitar. Unless you were born without arms, and I guess you weren't born with the air guitar. But most people had the air guitar. But there was a guitar you could get, and it was called Star Maker Guitar. Star make you weren't gonna make you the only you, yeah it's gonna make stars all right when the bullet punches you in the face and you see stars that's all it's gonna get you this thing is dorky and how many bully fists would it get you let's take a look hmm five I'm surprised at that five well, I guess it is kind of a get tired metal grade GN you might get away with that one you might be able to get away with that one but here's one you thought you were gonna be cool you thought you were gonna be like the drummer from Def Leppard you know oh excuse me Pour some sugar on me! Yeah, as you can see, I'm not a professional singer. Although it does sound like I could be. Let me fix my shirt right there. So you wanted to be a drummer. Well, you could if you had drums. But what if your parents wouldn't get you drums? Well, we got something better. Hit sticks. These were air drums. You just hit them together. Hit them in there. I don't know what you did. I think you just swung them. And it had a little speaker to hook to your side. That's right. A little speaker to hook to your side. And you thought you were going to be the next Peter Chris. Oh, but you were just the next dick. Oh, you come to school thinking you probably put your headband on. Got your sticks and everything. And you look like a total dork. So how many fists would the, would the hit sticks get you? 
Six fifth. Well, not just fifth, because the bully's going to take this from you, and they're going to play rat a tat tat on your head. You're going to have the drum solo going off in your head while they beat you with it. So the, everyone's going to laugh at you, because the bully's going to be bopping you in the head, and your drum machine speaker's going to be going off. Whew. Well, drums are kind of cool. Guitars, kind of cool. But I tell you what's not cool. Piano. So you know if you're bringing anything piano related to school, the bully's going to find out about it, and you're going to get it. Well, even, even the music teacher that loved the piano, loved tickling the ivories, would beat you for this one. It's a watch, but it's called the piano watch. Oh, Ronnie Millsap wouldn't even have this. Mm, it's a watch. I mean, the name explains itself. Did I explain it to you? It's a watch that looks like a piano. It only has a few keys. And it, you, you can you imagine walking down the hall in school with this? You're all proud. Ooh, I got a piano watch. And, you know, every other kid's got the Pac-Man watch. But you got a piano watch. Who is going to get you where you can get to the lunchroom cafeteria. You're going to get a bully fist in the face. And rightly so. You can't go complain to anybody because you go to the principal. You know the principal going to say, well, why did the bully punch you in the face? You're going to say, because I have a watch. That's a damn piano. And he's going to say, oh, well, let me, let's handle this inside. Let's not call parents and everything. He's going to get up. He's going to go shut the door. He's going to lock the door. And then he's going to punch you in the face, too. And you can't go home crying to your mom and dad because they're going to say, I told you not to wear that crap to school. <sighs> so what will this get you? Let's see. Eight. Eight. Another almost perfect score. Rightly so. You, ugh, rightly so. It makes me want to punch myself in the face just looking at the picture of it. So what else? Something musical related that would get you punched in the face guaranteed? That's if you brought an album of Winger. I don't care what album it was. That first one, their second one, that third one. That probably was done by the third one. Winger. Winger's gonna get you. I know you're like, I don't really into metal music, but I'm gonna. You're at the record store and you're like, oh man, look at this hairband. Winger! I'm gonna look cool when I come to school. I know all my friends, they like Guns and Roses. They like Color Me Bad. They like ACDC. They even like Faster Pussycat. <laughs> but I got a Winger album. You come to school and they. <sighs> be honest, you wouldn't even get to school with it. You take the Winger album on the bus, it's gonna get cracked over your head, rightly so. So bring in a Winger album, what would it get you? Nine, nine out of ten. Nine out of ten fists. <sighs> Again, rightly so. But let's get back to a keyboard. Let's get back to a keyboard. And this was made by Casio. They made a bunch of different ones, but this is the Casio we're going to look at the picture, right? VL Tone. Even not only is it a keyboard, it's an electronic keyboard. Comes with a sleeve to put it in so you can look like a really dork. And you're saying, junk man, how do you know about this stuff? Because... Junk man had one. And sadly, I got proof. Check this out. Mm, I wish I could go back in time. Oh, go really far back. I would find my dad when he was young and punch him in the testicles. Oh. Why did they buy this for me? Because I begged for it. And again, even the band geeks were beating me up for this. So how many fists did this Casio keyboard get you? Seven. Seven. And it was seven a day. I know, I had this thing. Let's go on and look at another one here. Well, let's say you wanted to bring your Walkman to school, but your mom and dad was like, you can't take your Walkman to school. That thing costs like $75. Walkman was expensive. Well, here's was the next best thing. Rocket, I forgot the name, Rocket Rockers. This was a plastic little Walkman that had a little plastic cassette you put into it. It's like a mini cassette. I think it only had like one, maybe two songs on it. And it didn't have any good stuff on the cassette. No, you couldn't get... With Hank Jr.'s Whiskey Been a Hellbound. You couldn't get the White Yoakum's guitars, Cadillacs, etc., etc. Nope, nope, nope. You couldn't even get Trio. You know, Dolly Parton, Linda Ross, and Emmylou Harris. Who wouldn't want to listen to that? No, you had to get your Polly Abdul, I guess, Madonna, whatever was big and pop in the 80s. Nothing I cared about, but if you came to school with this, Maybe in the first part of the day, you might slide, you know. You might run into some people that agree with it. The Debbie Gibson album is good. Hey, Tiffany, you got Tiffany. Okay, listen to some Tiffany. But after lunch, when the cool kids are out, 
You better hide your Dibby Gibson. You better hide your Tiffany mini cassette because you're going to get beat up and rightly so. And how many fifths are you going to get for having this stupid fake plastic Walkman with only two songs? Hmm. Four. Four. I'm surprised. I'm surprised at this. I think it just depends on what school you go to and what kind of cassettes you have. Sometimes pop music goes, but most times, you know, maybe you needed some rat. Maybe you need some rat not to get punched. Maybe they made rat. I'm not really sure. But let's look at number two, and it's Walkman related also, and also something I had. It was a vest. God, I'm embarrassed to even say I had this. It was a vest that had speakers right here, and you hooked to your Walkman. Now, if I was a cool kid in school, like I said, I could be walking down and listening to some Def Leppard, maybe some Iron Maiden. Huh, maybe I was just kind of cool. I might could have got away listening to some John Cougar Mellencamp. But again, I was I was in my country world, unlike most of my friends, so I would have been walking down my hall listening to Buck Owens. Whew. No, that's guaranteed to get you beat. If you're seen walking around listening to Donna Williams, I don't care if you're in Tulsa, and it is Tulsa time, you're still going to get beat up. Now, I remember wearing this thing one time. I got laughed out enough. I went home. I just tore the speakers out and used the speakers for something else. How many would it get you on the bully beatdown list? Ten. Believe me, this is right. I know. I lived it. Can you imagine me, the junk man, with this vest on, speakers right here, my Casio keyboard? <sighs> mm. But we got one more to look at. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Thank you, toy gods. Thank you. I did not have this. This is... <sighs> Released by Hasbro. It's the body wrap. Now, you think the drums are bad. You think a portable keyboard is bad. Well, this made your whole body into a musical instrument. Oh. Mm. I mean the whole thing. The whole thing. Let's look at this. You had a, you hit your head, but hear the high cymbals of the drums. I think on this side, you had the high drum. And on this side, you had, I don't know, another part of the drum. You had something right here to slap made a body sound. And then you had this over here. You pat on this arm. And it would say rap. I don't know why. It would just say rap. I think over here it would say body yeah, and down by the knee, when you hit the knee, it made a cowbell. It made a cowbell. Oh, it had a bass drum. It, uh, sneer, uh, this was horrible. This has to be the most god-awful, stupid thing I've ever seen. Uh, and like the drums where they're going to hit you in the head and you're going to make music while you're getting beat up. Whew. This is going to be a whole concert of you getting your ass whipped. Because they're going to be beating your drums going to be going off in your head. It's going to be saying, rap, 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 while you're getting beat up. You're going to have drums everywhere they hit you. This is just horrible. You're going to be sounding like a cowbell when they're kicking you in the bells. And just not the bullies either. You know, the teacher is going to beat you up. Even Sunday school teachers will kick your ass for wearing this. Rightly so. So how many fists will this get you on the bully beatdown list? Let's see. Woohoo! Good Lord, that's a lot of fists. Whoa. Well, that's a look at 10 musical-related items that was guaranteed, without a doubt, to get you on the bully beatdown list. Now, you can tell me you had some of these and you didn't get bullied for having it, and you're a dang liar. Or you went to one nerdy-ass school. Hopefully, you didn't have the vest or the Casio keyboard. I thought I was cool. What a dork. Uh, anyway, let me know what you think about some of these. Let me know if they got you on the bull dead beat down list. Or maybe you were the bully. And you beat down some kids that deserved it for having this stupid crap. I know, I'm against bully. Don't bully people. But let's be honest. Sometimes, sometimes, the person getting bullied deserves it. I mean, I mean, you bring it on yourself. You bring it on yourself, don't you? <sighs> let me get out of here. I gotta go to therapy. Thanks for watching. Hey, jump <laughs> man channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. Don't look right in the can. Don't know. Don't look right in the can.